Hello everybody, my name is Josh and today we're going to play Tiny Bunny. It's a reading novel game which is a horror and animals out there to lurk and eat your flesh. Oh, don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't actually know anything about this game. I just downloaded it and I watched a little bit. I watched part one. So I pretty know an idea of what's going to happen. Um, so let's see what the story has to bring. And I forgot everything. So that was long ago. The wind clawed at my window all, all night long. It wandered the fields and howled like a hungry beast. An endless song weird from all sorts of voices, shrill, gentle, sneery, twined in the air. They were shouting and laughing and arguing about something. Someone was running through the snow while casting long shadows that would occasionally creep close to my bed. Our house had a mind of its own, a creaky old mind of a building that li had seen a lot of its days and had, was slimy trying to share its wisdom with the inhabitants. The lonely house faced the forest and the dark green ticket gazed back with it. A hollow eyes, rustling, whistling, swaying back and forth. One could come out and stand at the end of the forest to rescue them, uh, reassure themselves. There was nobody behind the crooked trees. Fuzzy slothness swaying in the wind couldn't possibly do any harm. It was a play of light and shadow. Just a play. I knew it was my imagination. I was, I was already twelve after that. All. Still, <clears throat> I was. I was like, oh, I see it. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was a fox right there. <laughs> the owl was. Episode one: The owl will arrive. Clickly, clackily, kickly, clackily. Oh look! I'm sorry. What? Hey, put away your book. This one works. Settings. Remove the sound of the background. Uh, the, 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 the voice. Remove the voice. Remove the voice. There we go. I don't have it. How many t times have I told you not to read that? How many times have I told you not to read at the table? It's bad for your health. Look at how slouched you are. Oh, flip down. Is there a fox there? I didn't see any fox. Okay. All right. I hide. I, did, I just clicked it randomly. I didn't actually know I clicked on it. I didn't protest and put the book. I didn't protest and put the book about Conan the Barbarian aside. I was stuck on the line. I was stuck on a line I couldn't understand after reading the three times. Anyway, Ollie had already finished her breakfast and was munching on some cookies. She was so enthusiastic, she almost looked like her typical girl from commercials. You're not going anywhere until you finish all of it. I, on the other hand, was still trying to drill a hole in the plate with my eyes, as if it would make the porridge disappear. Haze and nauseous welled up inside, all because of the previous sleepless nights in the black forest around our house and the gloomy wind. Fascinating. The longer I waited, the colder the, lump, the lumpy white substance became. It looked like a jellyfish from a costume odyssey. I love that show. I wonder how horrifying the bottom of the ocean is, or how could a black forest is at night? The spoon fell off my hand. Mom showed me with a cold glare from the green eyes. What did I say? I'll get it. I had 10 seconds to catch my breath before battling the nasty porridge once again. I felt around. I felt around for the spoon. She left with a stiff back. What is it? What is this? Curved on the other side of the table. Feet? Oh. <laughs> Carved. Uh, Karina. Ha. Huh. That's my mom's name. I guess she carved it out with something pointy when she was little. She was sure it was rascal. Damaging the furniture like that. She sh would... She, scold, uh, she would scold for, for a week if I didn't 
did something similar though. Should I remind her about it? No. She's been in a bit of a bad mood lately. I imagine her being my age sitting under the table. I wonder, was mom afraid of the dark back then? All the sounds coming from the attic? All the thick forest? <sighs> Something creepy. I imagine my grandma coming to my little mom's room, sitting at the edge of the bed where Olya sleeps nowadays, and saying this to her in a soft, smooth voice. Tiga, this is a special place. Little girl, it's watching you closely, sniffing you out, trying to discern what kind of beast you are. If you're good, if you're a good sort, you won't abandon in your. Oh, the Uncle Grandma sound. If you're a good sort, it won't abandon you in good times of trouble. But if you have had a bad apple, I'll. It'll grab you by the side and drag you under the ground. What would you do to a little child and say these things to it? And that would be it. Grandma was crying. Um, grandma was carrying. <laughs> grandma was carrying. She never fought with anybody. Never yelled. Never swore. Those were the times without the maddening screams until late at night. Without smashed dishes and mutual acts. Accusations. Our parents used to love each other back then. I remember listening to in. I remember listening in one of the conversations by chance. They were talking about Grandma getting prepared for the funeral. She had already bought the casket, and she called it her cute funeral box. It waited for the day. It it waited for its time to through the closet patiently. It. It was a black upholstered with meat colored material on the side. I saw I saw it when grandma was getting buried. Unless she's dead. The house didn't change since the time she was alive. Only only all the photos were gone. Glass covered pictures, the gray faces of my ancestors. They all had a dead but watchful look over their eyes. I crawled out from other out of the table. Olia was done with her cookies and was looking at my share like sly wood hand critters. I turned my gaze toward the forest window. There were a lot of dark pines aside, outside, but they didn't grab my attention. The patterns of the forest formed their picture on the glass. Is it a fox? I see it now. Olia, look, it's a fox. Where? No, I should not actually imitate, intimidate that. I copy them. It looked almost like an optical illusion thing they put on the back of uh, back of a student notebook. A mixture of line at first glance, but if you blur your vision a little bit and look under the certain signal, uh, not a, uh, not outside on the window. Look, here's a nose, and here's hey, eat up. Here, yes, yes, just a moment. I don't see anything. Hurry up. It's not much left. There's not much left. Ha! Huh? There it is. But it still doesn't look like one. And I am telling you, it does. Nah. It does. Stop it. These kids, I swear. Oh, mother. C calm down, mother. I am trying to make a joyness of this day. Now, I couldn't see the fox either. It disappeared. Went away. Only the frosty parent patterns. Only the frosty patterns similar to uh, only the frosty patterns similar to stretched out needle weaves kept creeping up the glass. Ah, uh, my dad entered the kitchen with long, measured steps. Ooh, I wanted to have a beard like he's when I grew up. Mom would always uh, ask jokingly, "Come on, shave it off. It stinks." This was long ago. Shame. Don't stop staring. This was so long ago. Nowadays, rumbling doors and witty comebacks were an everyday occurrence. How oh, my voice is breaking me. Olya always covers her ears whenever she hears something like, What is the point of all this? Through the wall. It's all for the sake, Dad would reply, for the sake of your, our family. I always caught every sound in fear of hearing the most dreaded, the deadliest word that started with the D. The D.
Nice. <laughs> die, D I V O. I don't even want to finish it. It was scary to imagine that me my, and my little sister could be torn apart and taken into two different families. Anyway, your fox is nothing. I have, uh, anyway, your fox is nothing. I have an owl on my window. You and your owl talk again. You said you believed me just yesterday. Has anyone seen my car keys? Uh, I didn't seem like an angry person. I remember, I remember leaving it in the windowsill. Right. Maybe you did, and maybe not. You're a grown man, a father of two, and still, Karina, please stop. Just let me ready in. Uh, just, just let me get ready in peace. Your keys are in the basket near the phone. Well, thank you very much. Anton, stop making me. What is that thing? What is that? Anton, stop making a joke out of yourself and finish eating already. Uh, but the owl, there was no owl. But there was one. It had giant glowing eyes. Alia sprung up from the clear. Alia sprung up. Alia sprung up from the chair and placed her hands on the little face. Emit, in 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 them. Olya sprung up from the chair and placed her hands on the little face, imitating a pair of eyes with fingers the size of apples each. Last year you had bye bye in your closet and now this owl? B but I saw it. Olya shifted her gaze back and forth from dad and mom and to me but couldn't find any support. Uh, have you thought about befriending it? You know like feeding it with imaginary mice don't bully our girl she was oh my goodness my eyes all the white everywhere i'm not good with reading so long i always read in like in private with no words and now because i'm making a lot of videos i have a little throat broken weirdness she's just afraid to sleep alone because she's still little all the um Olya patted her, her lips in the rebellion and rushed into the hallway. Her mom gave her dad a strict look. Oh, that look in her eyes. It's so uncomfortable to be pinned under it. Dad just saw, um, dad just snorted in reply and left, ringing with the keys and just, he just found. A minute had passed and the t theme song. A minute had passed and the theme song form, The Little Mermaid, echoed through the house. It's so easy to fix objects by gluing them back together, for example. But how do you fix a relationship? Mom moved to the living room and I and I was left alone, anxiously stealing glances at the window. Oh my goodness. I only had trouble sleeping ever since, she, ever since we moved to this place. She could toss. She would toss and turn and cripple. She could toss and turn and curl up into a ball under the blanket. Sometimes she would jump up in the middle of the night and turn on the VCR. Cartoons help her to take her mind off the troubles we had with her move and our parents. Oi! The hell! Okay, and then Olya said to her, and Olya said she saw that giant flying monster outside her window. She became obsessed with it. Our parents did everything in their power. They tried every little trick in them and to get rid of this ridiculous fears. Olya refused to sleep alone and didn't believe that the owl was just one of her, of her nightmares. After last night, I was unsure that I, to make of my sister's words what to think of it myself. Can nightmares be infectious? That night, I could get up and wink of sleep and ended up thinking of what to expect from my new school. Uh, my imagination drew long twisting hallways that led to a classroom full of kids, but all the students behind their desks were simply dark figures cut out using a template, circular holes gasping in the middle of, the, of their faces, and pairs of eyes blinked outside those holes. It was as if the completely different creatures were looking at me from behind the flat black silhouettes. 
Their cruel glares filled with uh, icy snares made me shiver from head to toe. Will I survive here? Won't they gang up on me and beat me down, stomp me on me with their bloodied shoes? The damn school was can burn for all I care. I just wished for anything to happen to it. Doesn't really matter what I didn't. I didn't want. I want. I didn't want to go to there that badly. I didn't want to see people who are just itching to smack me on the head, smack me on the head, trip me up, think of a new offensive name for me, worse than the previous one. I felt like a glasses. I felt like the glasses I wore made me an outsider or some sort of monster. My gaze slid across the drawing hanging on the walls. Oh, 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 the scared burp. I couldn't consider my, myself a great assist, but all they begged me to hang on them. Drawing was the only thing that made me happy as of late. The small circle of friends I had also enjoyed my paintings. And they promised to call me from time to time. Sometimes I imagine mom picking up the phone and saying a cold voice, You've got the wrong number. For Anton is not around. Anton is not around. I imagine my figure classmates lying on the beds, just like me, listening to the howls of invisible werewolves outside the windows. Maybe my new classmates will like me after all. But who who would ever like a boy with thick glasses? I mean, my dad used to wear glasses when he was little. And now he's married to the most beautiful woman on the planet, my mom. That's a, that's a nice positivity. The house creaked, pressed by the wind. The, the condo was used to live in. And... A nine-floor concrete building buzzed with a nightmare. A drill mumbled with TV set from behind the wall, cried like a baby from the big family next door. Our current house, though I can't really call it new, was completely different. It was silent, easy going the day. The shadows lay dormant in the corners on the closet uh, cobwebs and under the stairs, but they all woke up during the the night. Sometimes I was what sometimes was watching me from every corner, almost if the old photos of my decent family with their ash, ashen eyes were hanging on the walls in place of my drawings. Ugh. The floor was squeaking, rusty drains were moaning, the attic was occupied by noisy drafts. One could think of the house was performing some sort of dem demonic melody. And then I realized I was in fact hearing music. It was already playing for the good while. Somewhere in the edge of the, my perception, perception, I could hear a flute. It was mixed in, the, in with the sound of the wind, of the creaking old house and my thoughts tongue. I stood up and rushed to the window. I waited to reassure myself that the, this music was nothing more than the product of my imagination. It, it's not like someone is playing out there. I'd miss the cold, snowy night, right? Oh dear. Oh! Oh, that's nice! Right? Someone was dancing in the field. Black silhouettes. I, I could barely make out with the dark forest of the background drop. They jumped around basket in moonlight bumped into piles of snow rolled around in the and crawled on all fours stories about wolves playing under the moon came to mind but these were clearly not wolves they stood upright in the time circled around holding hands and whipping up snow disappearing into the shadows for a brief moment and then coming back Sometime, something bizarre was going on. Shadows dancing in the star, starless abyss made my imagination go wild, making me anxious at the same time. Oh! <laughs> Hi! Welcome! Suddenly the music had stopped, the dancing shadows in place, and I could swear pierced me with their eyes. One of the solar heads immediately parted from the bizarre shadow carnival and and sprinted across the field with giant leaves. 
I glided through, I got on the sneaky snow without leaving any prints until I was devoted by the pitch black snow of my house, which became a darker and thicker. My heart was jumping around like a bird inside a cage. I shut the curtains with a swift motion of step back a little bit towards the head. I said, then they saw me, a freezing torment of fear washed on my face. I stood in the middle of the perfectly dark room and listened to some unwanted guest move and scrape around the look looking for an entrance. The sound moved to the right. The crick called around the house. Now my guest should be at the front door. I jumped into the bed and covered myself with a blanket as if it could protect me. The scratches, the scratch, the shackles of fear looked my muscles locked my muscles i remember the funeral my grandma laying there hands crossed on her chest her facial features sharp like that of a tin doll ants running up and down her legs and off chairs legs of chairs and hauled my grandma off casket i what the what, what, what? no i can't talk now Can't talk now. Little creatures climbing on the head of the eyeballs of the eyelid. Then her weekly eyeballs would once again move aside her crook, uh, sockets and she'd be able to see her grandchildren. I was chatting the, the spell of thought, taught me throughout the whole procedure. And now, laying under the blanket and listening to squeakles and howls, I was repeating the same words on the island of Behan, underneath the the blemished sun in the sea of the color blue stand a cabin made of wind there lay heart lard and ashen hair the spawn from devil's lair and feast and always leave alone yard's faithful servant named anton evil leave this house must ashes to ashes dust to dust <sighs> bizarre sounds had disappeared i searched I cautiously peeked out from the, under the blanket and saw curtains weaving under the hanged man, and then the night doused me with a new potion of bowling terror. The sound scratched my ear, at my eardrums. In reality, something is or someone or scratching in front of the door, hurriedly crawling the wood, uh, demanding to be let in. The door was shut. Dad became very cautious recently, so he installed the sturdy lock. I remember him staring in the forest intently as if he was looking for someone. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I hugged my knees, placing the chin between them and and drilled the door with my eyes as it was so flimsy and weak before the might of the darkness. And then uh, the door knob twitched slightly. Uh, and then it turned halfway, once or twice, and as, as if the person had tried to enter had no hands. Uh, the doorknob, uh, the doorknob tilted once more, and then started clicking violently. I draw, my jaw grabbed from the fear. My weird fingers are clutching. I can't read. The door creaked and opened. The wind taunted me, moaning inside the, the tin drains. Now, now you'll see. The door was opened wide. The darkness thrilled inside the carvingless mouth of the doorway. It was as if the night itself was calling out to me, flapping its black wings and squeaking with rusty wings. I was trembling, insured by the, the web of darkness that hung in the corners of my room, waiting for the one who weaved it to come out of the gasping black hole. My aban uh, my abdon tightened and my chest rose up, ready to exhale the desperate scream, but before I was able to do anything the darkness asked me, Tasha, are you, you asleep? My sister pale face protruded from the thick shadows. Ah, oh, I almost screamed with from relief. Oh yeah. I I'm not sleeping. Did you did something happen? Olya forward uh, and stuck her a lower lip, a clear sign that she was about to cry. It's there again, staring at me. Shoo her away. Shoo away, Tosha. Please. I'm so scared. The fear that was torment me 
or just a minute ago crawled away and hid somewhere in my stomach. I needed to calm all that down. It was just a dream, silly. Don't be scared. Dreams don't bite. No one's going to harm you. Olya sobbed. She was trying to the best to believe me, but I was sure my I was sure <laughs> But I was sure myself. I had no idea. Let's go to the room and watch the video Sleeping Beauty, for example. You like that cartoon? Don't you don't like that cartoon, do you? Why does the Sleeping Beauty have a prince and I have a little scary bird? Oh, I didn't read that right. That question took me by surprise. All right, let's watch Cinderella. My thoughts became tangled fuzzy. What was that? Oh, that studied me with the eyes while dancing fiercely under the moon. The darkness was climbing the window and I couldn't be fooled by the grandma's old chance. It could it Why? Is it quiet? Side of the feast of the long chair here. Tosha, you coming? Yes, yes, just a moment. Oh, <laughs> Am I dead? Did I do something wrong? Stop chewing me, I'm dead. Okay, I'm dead. Okay. Oh, my hair is sticking up. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Alright, uh, I'm gonna stop it here for this video. Uh, making short videos for like a challenge and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was Tiny Bunny. This is a story novel and it's pretty interesting. It's a horror mix with a thriller. It's like in, you on you when you stay on your toopy topes and everything. But hey, thanks guys for so much for watching. Um, hope you guys see you next video. If you want to see more of like this and you want to see more three scary games or something like that, uh, just let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys. I should stop doing that for in the next video.